What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. If you have a treadmill and you want to work at it, you might need one of these. It's the ultimate in multitasking, walking on a treadmill and doing a little bit of work. Walking treadmills are new, but if you have a home treadmill like this one and it's kind of inexpensive, it may not be set up to do work at. So I picked this up. It's by Vivo. It's a universal laptop stand for treadmills. And you might be able to see here that these cheap home treadmills don't have a lot of structure but i do have these little handles here and most of them do and so this should attach to those handles and give me the ability to really multitask and work on my computer while also getting a little walk now you can might be able to see here that i have heart rate sensors on these handles so i am going to basically i think be sacrificing these which is fine for the ability to do a little work so let's get this box open what we have in here is not a lot of stuff. It's actually pretty small. What we have is kind of this cross member that will attach to the handlebars. You can see that right up here. We have this telescoping uh, neck that will raise and lower the platform. Looks like this is maybe where the platform will mount to. And then underneath it looks like we have the laptop platform itself. So I'm going to get this all set up. So you're going to start with this cross member piece and it's pretty heavy. It seems very robust. You've got this middle portion here, which will hold that vertical neck. It looks like it will slide side to side too. So you can center it regardless of how wide your treadmill is. You can see here on the edges, it has these Velcro straps, which will hold it to the handlebars. And then we also have a rubber uh, pad right there. So it should be pretty grippy as well as not scratch your treadmill. Now this uh, post here, you can see, has a, a nut on it and so you're going to loosen that up and then we are going to put this post right through there and obviously this top bracket is going to stay up because that's going to hold in the platform so let's get that assembled all right next we're going to take the base and then attach it to the platform now i will say that you can see here how this kind of slides into the top portion of that rail there and so depending on uh, which way it's going to slide in in this case it's going to slide in this way for me i want to make sure that this is lined up on the back here so that the tray is facing the correct way and these little lips holding the laptop in place are on the side where you're going to be standing and here's the little package of screws that we're going to be using these screws are going to go on the tray side through the back then you're going to use these washers and then these locking nuts on the back side of it a power screwdriver helps to tighten these uh, screws in i will say that they are countersunk here so that they are flush with the platform which is really nice and then this piece right here will twist so that you'll be able to adjust it attach the platform like that and then there's two screws one on either side that you screw down to lock it in place all right now it's time to install it and you just kind of dry fit it first you want to put one arm on each side and what you can see is It'll match there, but it's a little too long here. So what we have here are some Allen screws, and then we can loosen those up and kind of adjust the width of the bracket a little bit. Now I've adjusted it, and it's as tight as it's going to get, but these things will extend out quite a bit here. So you can definitely get these wider if you have a wider treadmill. I'm just going to tighten these down, and then we are going to put the straps over the handles. Sweet! Everything is attached, and it seems really sturdy uh the weakest part or the the most movement is kind of where the crossbar meets that neck but i've only kind of gently tightened it down because i want to dry fit it and see if i've gotten the height right now i have a 15 inch chromebook here which might be a little big for this but i thought why not try it, it looks like it's going to fit fine but you do get this little accessory kit here with a strap to tie down the laptop but you also get these rubber pads here so you have to uh, apply those they're sticky to the base here and depending on the laptop that you're going to use you know you might want to center it and, and put them in the right place but i think i'm just going to put them in the corner i think that's going to be fine and then the strap will go around the bottom across the keyboard and hold this in place so let's try it so i've got this whole thing set up now and i love it i love it yeah uh, first of all <laughs> You have some obvious trade-offs here. You're not going to be able to see the screen with ease. You'll probably have to close your laptop. I also want to show you here that on my 15-inch Chromebook, this strap was too short. So I've used one of the uh, GoPro Velcro extenders to extend it there. But if you're using like a 14, 13, or 12-inch laptop, I think it's going to work just fine. There's also a little bit of wiggle, but I think I've gotten most of that taken care of here by tightening everything down. And I will say that if you're using a smaller, lighter laptop, I think it's going to be less of a problem. But that's going to be kind of the nature of it you know given the fact that you have a lot of separated pieces here it attaches right 
uh, here, and it's just fine on this. I think it's like a 21 inch wide, 17 inch wide track, but I think 21 inches wide side to side here. And so that's pretty nice. The other thing is it's just way, way cheaper than most other options out there. So if you get a full standing desk that is kind of a separated unit, those things are like three, $400. I couldn't believe it. And then some of the other attaching standing desks, which are just like a platform that attached to the handlebars are probably gonna be too low. And those are also, you know, kind of 30, 40, 50 bucks. So something like this, that's in the $60 plus range, I think is gonna be great. And I've been using a little bit here and everything works just fine. Uh, like I said, just a little bit of wiggle, but it's just nice that you can stretch your legs and do some work at the same time. So if you wanna pick this sucker up, I think it is fantastic. I will put a link to it in the the description below. Peter Brown Panda, out!